Hello, I am number two from Stranger Things 4. But what you might not know is I actually auditioned for Eddie Munson beforehand. I made some crazy choices, Eddie like eating hurt. paper. Society has to blame something. Today we're gonna react to those. I'm going to give all of my critiques and then knowing everything that I know now, I'm gonna redo these scenes at the very end. Eddie, 18 to 25, an 80s metalhead, but nerdy and into Dungeons and Dragons slash Metallica. A little scary looking at first glance. Strong recurring guest. Which is not a whole lot to like go off of, honestly. That's again a testament to how brilliant Joseph Quinn is. Something freak. Dungeons and Dragons, at first regarded as a harmless game of make-believe, now has both parents and psychologists concerned. This is very forced. I am just projecting so much as though I'm trying to hit all the way to the back of the rafters. It's so performative. I'm saying it promotes satanic worship, ritual sacrifice, sodomy, suicide, and even murder. Society has to blame something. Exactly. We're an easy target. Exactly. Don't know why I decided to do this. I just thought it would be a fun way to show how much I disdained this newspaper article. And the blocking on this is just very stiff. I'm just kind of standing there. You want something, freak? Iconic. Then you're fine. My eyeline is just a little bit too simple. The exact same eyeline for the jocks that I make the devil face at is the same as like one of the friends. So. Force conformity. Like, that's what's killing kids. That's what's, that's what's the real monster. Forced conformity or forced delivery? Because <laughs> that was very forced delivery. I laugh at this now, but clearly something resonated with the Stranger Things casting director, Carmen Cuba, because it was after she saw this tape, I was specifically asked to audition for number two. And the rest is history. Speaking of monsters, Fred has to play in his ball and laundry baskets game, so he can't come to Hellfire tonight, and no way we can be- I, I don't know what- what is going on? Why am I so theatrical? It's like I'm doing a play right now. These facial expressions are beating the audience over the head with making sure you know exactly what my thought process is. There's so much more subtlety I could have used. Ooh, okay, hold up, hold up. Let me get this straight. Fred has joined the dark side? Something like that. And instead of finding a sub, you want to postpone the climax of the wizard. Postpone the climax. I'm taking too many beats. It's really slowing this section down. That's definitely something I'm going to keep in mind when I redo these scenes at the very end. Yeah, I mean, we'd find a sub, but like, everyone's going to this championship game. Well, the cool kids are. Alright, fine. I'll level with y'all, okay? I could have really used a relationship web with this because everyone I'm talking to, it has the exact same feeling. I don't see any connection behind my eyes. It's just like artificially generated friends instead of fully fleshed out relationships. <sighs> I've only got one year left in this joint. Jeff's got a year, Gareth in a year and a half. You can feel me trying to be serious, but it also is a little sing-songy. Look, guys, I have a year and a half. Well, technically, you should have graduated like two years ago, but you never know. My point is that... I'm still chewing on your paper. Your future, Hellfire. It does make my cheekbones look on fire, though. Oh, you were wearing... You were wearing your Weird Al shirt. And uh, Curtis, you were wearing... No relationship history right there. I very clearly am just saying names. You can't see how distinctly different my friendship with all of them is. If you're on set, the sound guy will despise you. If you're flapping this paper around, interjecting into all of the lines, muddying up the audio. Well, there are other oh, sheep that need help, that need your help. All you gotta do is, is get your little bobops on it. <laughs> 
and all you gotta do is get a little robot side it's like i got a little new york accent going for a second thing that's such a weird way for me to have done that line and if you need any help convincing anybody <laughs> I like that I completely break character on this, just breaking the fourth wall. You ready for scene two? <laughs> scene two is awful. You know, on a daily basis, I mean, I feel like I'm losing my mind right now doing a drug deal with Chrissy Cunningham. Jamie, I know you've never seen this one. That's because it is so atrocious. I'm embarrassed to put it out anywhere that got. And immediately the lighting is atrocious. I'm basically all in shadow. I'm so heavily backlit. This is literally the definition of how not to have your tape formatted and lit. Yet, I guess Carmen saw something because she asked for me to read for two after this. Okay. I just left in this camera being violently hit. So. I'm gonna easily cut that part out. What the hell? How does this work exactly? Um. You know, just like any other old sale. Uh, except cash only and uh, no receipts for obvious reasons. God. This feels like I shouldn't be watching this. Way too intimate, off the top. 20 for the half ounce, and uh, yeah, I mean, what do you say? It's, it's a good bang for your buck. Last you a long time. It looks like we're about to have sex. Good bang for your buck. The level of video quality this is, it's like I have a gun pointed at me. It's like I'm being held hostage. You feel like you're ever losing your mind? Are you kidding? <laughs> Only all the time. I'm practically spiking the camera. My eye line is right underneath it. You need your eye line to always be at least slightly to the side of the camera. Giving drugs to, to Molly Wilson? Ah. <laughs> that was clearly Believe it or not, this is actually not the first time we've hung out before. Sorry, I don't... Yeah, second grade, Miss Thompson's class. Uh, yeah, we did this project on, on manatee. Manatee. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> it's so... Different? Yeah. This feels way more grounded than the first scene, but you still hear my theater voice coming out. Yeah, I didn't have the tattoos then. Those came in third grade. Ew. Those came in... Third grade. <laughs> like a bratty teenager. You're not what I thought you'd be like. Scary and different. You know, uh, I thought you would be scary too. So, so I guess we're both wrong, aren't we? Well, another good news. Flattery does give you a 20% discount, so... So all of these like attempts at transitions are just so forced. It doesn't feel organic at all. It just feels like, okay, now I'm going to my next line. I was trying to be so quirky and I don't know why it didn't say quirky in the character description. Both of these scenes is just about like taking the theatricality out of it. Stop trying to be quirky. And I say that like clearly it was good enough to somehow get Carmen Cuba to think of me as number two. In many ways, he is performing to his group of friends, and I know in the show, he's like having this big monologue jumping on tables, so I think there's a form of theatricality that can work, but not when it's like clearly coming from the actor instead of the character. The devil has come to America! Dungeons and Dragons, once regarded as a harmless game of make-believe, now has both parents and psychologists concerned. Studies have linked violent behavior to the game, such as satanic worship, ritual sacrifice, sodomy, suicide, and even murder. Society has to blame something. We're easy targets. Exactly, like, we're the freaks because 
We like fantasy games. Whereas if you're into science or band or or parties or or if you like playing games where you put balls into laundry baskets. Want something, freak? <laughs> then you're fine. It's forced conformity. That, that is what is killing the kids. That is what the real monster is. I think you hit the nail right on the head there, Eddie. And speaking of monsters, Lucas has to play in his ball and laundry baskets game, so he can't come to Hellfire tonight, and we can't beat your campaign without him. So, Mike and I have been talking, and we think we have no choice but to post them. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Let me get this straight. So, Lucas has joined the dark side. Something like that. And instead of finding a sub, you want to postpone the, the climax of Vecna's curse. Yeah, I mean, we find a sub, but everyone's going to this championship game. The cool kids aren't. Okay, look, I'm, I'm going to level with y'all, okay? I've only got a year left in this joint. Jeff's got a year. Gareth has a year and a half, yeah? I mean, technically he was supposed to graduate two years ago, but you never really know. The point is that, that you two, you are the future of Hellfire. And I knew it ever since I saw you two at that little table over there, like Lost Sheep. Dustin, you were wearing that, that Weird Al shirt. Mike, you were wearing whatever your mom bought you at the goddamn Gap. And we... We found you. And and we showed you that, that this school doesn't have to be the worst years of your life. Right? Right. Well, uh, <laughs> there are other lost sheep that need help. That that need your help. All you gotta do is put your little bobops on and find one. And you have a whopping six hours left to do it. I mean, we'll try. No, do or do not. There is no try. Totally. We're doers. That is more like it. So, how does this uh, work exactly? Yeah, it's just like any other sale except cash only, no receipts for obvious reasons, and 20 for the half ounce. What do you say? It's a pretty good bang for your buck. Last year, pretty long time. What's wrong? Do you ever feel like you're losing your mind? Only all the time. Like, on a daily basis. I feel like I'm losing my mind right now. I mean, I'm, I'm s selling drugs to Chrissy Cunningham. <laughs> um, you know... This is actually not the first time that we've hung out before. Oh, I'm sorry. Second I don't... grade, we uh, we had this project in Miss Tompkins' class on manatees. Manatees, yeah. Oh my god, you were so different. <sighs> yeah, that is because I did not have tattoos then. Those came in third grade. <laughs> You know, you're you're not what I thought you'd be like. Scary and different. Well, I thought that you'd be scary too, so I guess we're we're both wrong. Well, good news. Flattery does indeed give you a twenty percent discount, so I'll give you fifteen for the half ounce. What do you say? You got anything stronger? 